Shabbat Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word, sincerity, and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Tiles of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And uh, just going, you know, something quick, like a quick hit. middle of uh, editing a lesson that I wanted to put up dealing with the MOB all right there was a video which I'll leave the uh, I'll leave the link to the full video and in the description box brothers want to check it out all right that's what you see here with this uh, Edomite his name is uh, David Sinclair and uh, the title of it is extending the human lifespan beyond a hundred years let me read that again it says extending the human lifespan beyond a hundred years and uh, I first saw this video from uh, AMTV now, I haven't been watching him in a long time you know because even selling them bug out bags faithfully <laughs> you know but um anyway last week round Thursday or on Friday, I saw the, I saw um, a video he put up, which he actually deleted. He actually deleted the video, and I had downloaded the video as soon as I seen it because it was a, it was some good information uh, pertaining to the MOB, you know, and not just the MOB, but the the uh, avenue, the different avenues that deal with the MOB, and we know what the MOB is. All right, goes back to. Um, uh, Karak's uh, Karagma and us brothers of the whole four like we know what that is and um, You know when I stopped editing the video brother brother one of the brothers in the camp brother Yashar he sent me a um, Sent me a message, you know, and I know it's through the Spirit of the Lord, you know, this happened to me before You know, I should have listened uh, While brothers was putting up warnings About certain things we can't say or get into because of YouTube and I did it anyway, and I had got flagged right away. So I'm gonna take the warning this time, you know. Uh, Elder Apostle Tahar, he put it out there first. And brothers should know, know you know that, um, you know, they're clipping your videos or, or giving you the medical misinformation for speaking about the uh, Chippy Chippo, you know. And um, they, they, they take it, they took the brother's page down so you gotta make some more pay. You gotta make another page because of that. So I said, "Damn, that's the spirit." I was just about to load up the video I edited or whatever, and had the clipping of um, AMTV. That guy, Christopher Green, and what he was saying, going along with this actual video, uh, this podcast, and which he was bringing out because he was bringing out some pointers. But I'm not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just leave this link to the podcast. You can watch the whole video. You know, it's pretty long. So, you know, if you got time, you'll watch it. But if not, it is what it is, you know? But uh, in the meantime, I wanna bring out a quick scripture. This is just a quick hit, it's gonna be quick. All right, you know? Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 14 and verse seven. It says, no, it's like you. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which did weaken nations? Now we, we know that Lucifer is not talking about demon, it's not talking about spiritual Satan, all right? The angel that the Lord set up on the left hand side. Okay, it's talking about actual people, all right? Because the word Lucifer, when you look into it, it means light bearer. Okay, one who holds the light bearer, right? One who light bearers, right? And um, Esau, Edom, the elites are light bearer, all right? They're, they're illuminated. This is why they call themselves the Illuminati. But they're illuminated and enlightened on the left-hand side of the Lord, which is through wickedness. So it says, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground which did weaken nations? 
it says, For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregations in the sides of the north. And this is Esau's um, his motto. This is his uh, this is his mindset. He wants to do what? He wants to ascend into the heaven. This is why you got Elon Musk at the forefront. A couple of other guys, you know, speaking about going to different planets. They're going to Mars. They said in a few years, they're going to be able to have this uh, shuttle that can ship people from Earth to Mars. A lot of people that disbelieve in this truth, they, they can't see, you know? This is why Elon Musk and the rest of those guys and Edomites are talking about going into heaven because they want to they want to be able to ascend into the heavens, man. All right? It says, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Now, what did the Most High say to Solomon? He said, "Earth is my, uh, heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. So the Lord is from above, all right? And we're from the earth. But Esau, he wants to be above. He wants to be as though he's the most high. It says, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also in the mount of the congregation of the size of the north, which is here in North America. All right. And let me continue. It says, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. So his whole this whole thing is to be like the most high. And this is the uh, the agenda, the end of the agenda, okay, that they're pushing upon the world is to help them be in God's status, you know, because he has a God complex mindset, man. He has a God complex, you know. Esau is proud, man. And uh, the scriptures are on point because the Lord said that he was going to show his power in thee, meaning he was going to, uplift his pride so that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh can show his power you know in the earth and be glorified for it all right the scriptures uh another one coming in mind is the um, uh scriptures say why is dirt and ashes proud you know because we're from the earth we're from the dirt how could you be proud but that's Esau all right so it says, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. So his method and his mindset is to be like the most high. All right. Now, real quick, I'm going to leave from here. Another scripture come in mind is, uh, is it 18 or 20? I think it's 20. Job, yeah, Job 20 and 5. It says that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment, though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? It says, it says uh, but the triumphing of the wicked is short, but the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. So really, you know, they have but a moment. That's it. The joy of the hypocrite is just for a moment. It seems like a lifetime for us, but it's really just a short, a short season on his, on his rulership. All right, uh, Job 14 says that uh, the Lord set a boundary that he can't pass. All right, so it seems like to us there's a life, it's a lifetime, right? Because it is, you know, we're in the flesh. But to the Lord, the Lord said a short season, man. Revelations 20 and 3. And he cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nation no more till that thousand years should be fulfilled and after that he should be loose a little season. Okay, so his kingdom is cut, you know, it's, it's cut short. Now it says, verse 6, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds. All right, because now let me say this. When you go into this excellency, which I'll go into it real quick. Okay. Mount up to the heavens. Uh, okay, excellency. Okay, when you look in this word right here, it says loftiness of pride. So excellency is going into what? Pride, right? Now it says elevation. We go down here to the lexicon. It says elevation height. So at the height and elevation of his pride, right? 
it says his head reach unto the clouds yet he shall perish forever like his own dung they which have seen him shall say where is he because Esau's mindset is to be the most high okay so the Lord is going to bring him down when the height and elevation of his pride all right and that's going according to his agenda which is prophecy which is everybody being mob all right when he get there when he get almost there the lord oh job the fifth chapter he's going to stop his enterprise man i'll get that after this let me read this real quick um so lucky i got a lot it's just coming to me fast so i just want to get it uh uh job 20 and 22 and the fullness of his sufficiency he shall be in straits every hand of the wicked shall come upon him now when you go into that word wicked all right it's talking about the laborers okay the laborers verse 23 it says when he is about to fill his belly the most high yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating so you see while he's eating in the midst of him and his height you know, in the height, elevation of his pride, in the midst of he accomplishing his agenda, finally, all right, you know, he's going to be taken out of power. It says, he shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bull of steel shall strike him through. It, sh it is drawn, it cometh out of the body, yea, the glittery sword cometh out of his gold, terrors are upon him. Because the way that this devil is going to go out is by the ways of thermonuclear fire and by the holy angels, man. All right, when Yahweh Shai cracked those clouds with the mighty angels and fight against NATO, EU, European Union, then he's gonna be taken out for good. All right, so it says, it is drawn, it cometh out of the body, yea, the glittery sword cometh out of his gall, terrors are upon him. And that's them, the ICBMs coming out of his silos. All right, now it says, verse 26, all darkness shall be hid in, in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him, it shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. All right, you can continue to read the rest, but let me go to the Job, the fifth chapter and the 12th verse. Well, I restart at 11. It says, to set up on high those that be low, that those which mourn may be exhorted to safety. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. The counsel of the forward is carried headlong. They meet with darkness in the daytime. They grope in noonday as the night. All right. So the point is in verse 12 where it says he disappointed the devices of the crafty. And what is the main device of the crafty is what they don't want us to speak about anymore. All right. Brothers getting their channels clipped or, you know, their videos taken down for just speaking about the MOB. So that shows you they ready to campaign and push, push this device. They're ready and probably ready to campaign and start pushing this device, all right? Because they don't want nobody talking about it. And uh, like I said, the dude from uh, Christopher Green for AMTV, I was wondering why he deleted this video. And it's probably due to the YouTube guidelines under the restrictions of medical misinformation because they're sure getting a lot of people with that, you know? It's really just taking away the free speech in which we supposed to have, you know? But that's the platform dealing with YouTube. You know, and it's also proven, it's proven the fact that the Lord is putting a famine on his word. All right. The Lord is putting a famine on his word where, where the prophets, where the scriptures say the Lord shall make his tongue cleave to the roof of his mouth. All right. And he, he shall not reprove, reprove thee. You know, no longer you're going to get corrected or get understanding of these scriptures. And then it's going to be too late, man. All right. Because the Lord is bringing a famine on his word. So the scriptures say, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. You know, so it says he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. So their new world order is not going to come, you know, it's not going to uh, come into fruition. All right. It's not going to be complete. It's going to seem as though it is. But then what? Yahweh Bashimi I was shy. It's going to upset you Edomites, you know, and in this video uh, here, you know, it shows you how, you know, these uh, elites, right? They got their millions, they little rich Edomite friends that are experiment, you know, like guinea pigs, testing devices on themselves. You know, really, it boils down to Jacob versus Esau. All right, and, and going back to that birthright. 
okay, the blessing, because Jacob supplanted Esau two times, the birthright, the blessing, all right, and Esau uh, wished that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai had given him the blessing, but nah, it was ordained from the Most High, from Yahweh, that his will be done, that Jacob is his chosen, and that the blessing and the birthright went to him, okay, so really it's going back to that, because these elites, they are really scared of dying, they do all this um, killing, you know, all this evilness in the world, but they themselves are afraid to die. And they want to live forever, you know, because they know in that blessing that Jacob have, that all nations shall uh, be under him, is that Jacob having a kingdom, okay, is going to be able to have those new bodies, those natural new bodies from Yahweh Bashem Yahushua to live forever, not through some type of device to manipulate the flesh this is sinful flesh all right it's corrupt it was made to be corrupt for it to be destroyed the lord has a kingdom that's coming and that's through yahweh shai all right starting with his elect so uh there's a few scriptures in my mind anyway uh let me get this real quick this is uh second thessalonians chapter two. Oh, something in my it was something i wanted to get damn uh all right, anyway, this is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and uh, verse, verse 4. Who opposeth, and let's start at verse 3. It says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. Okay, so now we're in that season and time that the, the, that, that man of sin is being revealed the son of perdition all right which is esau edom now verse four who opposeth and exhorteth himself above all that is called god or that is worship so that he as god sitteth in the temple of god showing himself that he is god all right and that's esau he says who opposeth and exhorteth himself above all that is called god because if they able to establish this uh, device inside of everybody's body, they're gonna have the power to control your thoughts, your emotions. They could determine, they could, they could see what are you eating, all right? They can cut you off from society. You know, you see where the money's going, everything's going digital, all right? No more tangible notes, you know, to sit in your pocket or wallet, it's all digital. So if they can have their way, this will give them that power, all right? You won't be able to get, um, you won't be able to beat the system the way you could beat the system now, all right? Um, uh, they, they, they posing it as a miracle, you know, with certain people having health issues, and now they can get this device and all of a sudden, you know, they, 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 they're normal, you know? It's a lot to it, man. It's a lot to it. You know, they're coming from all these different angles just to meet up at one point, you know, and it's going to make them this guy. They already have their angels, which are their satellites. You know, you got to think about it, man. The Lord gave Esau power, the power to actually sit in your living room from a from a from a a, 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 t, a television or a screen. And actually see people in different countries, man. That's power. That's power. That wasn't happening in the ancient times. All right? Hey, the Lord gave the prophets visions. So really there's nothing new under the sun. But on a, on a larger scale, on an everyday base, we can cut, we can talk to each other through, through these uh, phones, man. Through the internet of things. That's power. So the Lord gave Esau power, but from the left-hand side, all right? Because really, this power is corruptible, all right? So it says, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship. So anything that you worship is really going to be eliminated, all right? You got Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, which is the true and living power, and then you got false gods. You know, just a couple of weeks ago, we saw the, um, what is it, East Indians? Elam, you know, they was throwing away their uh, their idols because because it didn't help them get through the, you know, the peak. It didn't get help them get through this sickness that's going on. So they all started throwing out their idols and shit. 
so that he as the most high sitteth in the temple of the most high show him himself that he is the most high and he wants to sit in the israelites temple which is the body man all right this is why they they campaign that thing this thing where you 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 blacks and latinos you gotta get it you know it says remember ye not that when i was yet with you i told you these things now real quick i get this last scripture here this is in the book of uh second address 16 Second edge of 16. And the point is here. Alright, so second edge of 16, chapter uh second edge of 16 and 67. Behold, God Himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities, to meddle no more with them forever. So shall the most high lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. And they, that, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. All right, because that's these uh, troops, okay? When they come down uh, uh, like a flood, all right, to destroy you. It says, for behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. And they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. All right, and that's with that device, you know? It says, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and a reproach and trodden underfoot. So you're in the trick bag. You go along with the get along, all right, according to this system and the mind control, you're going to be destroyed anyway. So as the scriptures say, he that uh, saveth his life shall lose it, and he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. You see, all these scriptures come together, man. You know, it all comes together. All right, so Lord willing, I pray this lesson was edifying. All right. I just wanted, wanted, really wanted to do a quick hit, but uh, it might be a little longer. Yeah, it is. 20 minutes is a lesson. So um, I'll leave a link to this video. Brothers want to check it out. Extending the human lifespan beyond 100 years, you know. And he said they could do it with the, with the devices that uh, they have now with this MOB. All right. That's just a small thing, you know, because, hey, it's a small thing, but it's, it's a huge thing. If that makes sense, because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai said, if you take it, you're going to be destroyed, man. All right. So, you know, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honest to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.